Riesling might just be one of the most misunderstood, one of the most falsely stereotyped of wine grapes. No, it is not always sweet. And no, the sweet versions are not always cheap, mass-produced wines. In fact, they can be some of the most thrilling wines on earth. Have I piqued your curiosity yet? Good. So let's dive in and learn all about Riesling. Riesling is an ancient German grapes with literary mentions dating back to the 14th century. It is a favorite with winemakers in cool areas because it can resist harsh winter temperatures and it buds late, which means that it's less susceptible to spring frosts. That's why you'll see a lot of Riesling in marginal growing areas like Northern Europe or Canada. It's a terroir expressing grape, meaning that its flavor, its body, its structure really changes depending on the site, depending on the climate, the topography, the soils that it's grown in. To preserve its very pure, fruity, mineral, earthy aromas and flavors, Riesling tends to be vinified in neutral vessels so that oak flavors won't mask its varietal character. In general, Riesling wines tend to be aromatic, light-bodied, and quite low in alcohol. They're famously high in acidity, and it's this high acidity which is one of the major factors which allows good quality Riesling to be so age-worthy. You can find styles of Riesling at every sweetness level, from bone dry to lusciously sweet, like the ice wines that are produced predominantly in Germany and in Canada. So as I mentioned before, the aromas of Riesling can vary quite widely depending on the site and they evolve quite significantly over time. It is common though to find notes of citrus, orchard fruit, stone fruit, lovely floral hints, mineral notes, and a hint of petrol. The petrol note in Riesling stems from a naturally occurring aromatic compound called, for short, TDN, which reveals itself in certain higher quality Rieslings as they age. The idea of a petrol scented wine might not sound appealing, but in balance with Riesling's other plethora of aromas, it can be really lovely. There's about 60,000 hectares of Riesling planted around the world, and over a third of that is in Germany. So in Germany, you find all kinds of different styles of Riesling, from the Mosel Valley, which makes a very light, a very elegant, lithe style, from very dry to quite sweet, sometimes Botrytis styles as well, the Rheingau, which is more powerful, more structured, more muscular, and the Feltz, for example, in the south, which makes a riper, rounder style, and many, many, many other regions as well. German labels can be quite tricky to read. There's quite a few different classifications in terms of sweetness, in terms of quality, in terms of vineyard designation. I can't go into all of it right now, but if you're looking for a drier style of Riesling, you will often find the word trocken on the label. In France, Riesling grows exclusively in the region of Alsace. Here, the majority of Rieslings are dry and made in quite a powerful, structured style with honeyed, spiced flavors. The Niederösterreich region of Northeast Austria is also home to some exciting, mainly dry Rieslings, often slightly lighter than Alsace, with really bright peach, sometimes tropical aromas, and peppery mineral undertones. Both regions have different quality tiers, again, quite a lengthy topic, but if you want to try one of their top bottlings, just ask store staff for an Alsace Grand Cru or a Kamptel Reserve or a Vaco Smaragd. In the USA, probably the best known area is Washington State's Columbia Valley. Here, Riesling tends to be crisp and off dry with really fragrant peach and lemon aromas. In contrast, Australia's best Rieslings are bone dry and quite austere in their youth with bracing acidity, lemon, lime, grapefruit, floral type aromas. The best ones are from the Eden and the Clare Valley in South Australia. So there you have it, the quick sip on Riesling. There is of course so much more to say, but I hope that I have inspired you to discover or rediscover the grape. To get you started, I've got three lovely German Rieslings with me today. The Donhof Tonschiefer Riesling grows on grey slate soils in the Nahe region, really delicate with lovely apple blossom and mineral notes, light, dry, lovely. From the neighboring Rheinhessen region, Frey is an organic Riesling in a really taut, zesty, citrusy style. And finally, last but not least, we have an orange wine from the Württemberg area, which is in southern Germany, uh, the Seedlok Sandhese, which is a dry Riesling, Trocken. 
It's a really zesty, textural, interesting wine. So give those wines a go and let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, consider subscribing. And until next time, santé.